Hello coders, I hope you are coding well. In the previous video, we created a model box to get the dates inputs from the user and after this we called bookroom API from our Angular application. And in today's video, we will write the code to get all bookings for the admin with the pagination in our Spring Boot application. So let's get started. So in our Spring Boot application, first of all, we need to create a reservation response TTO. And in this TTO, we will send list of reservation DTO and then we will send the pagination details. So we will right click on this TTO package and we will choose new Java class and we will name this class as reservation response TTO. And after this, we will annotate this class with at the rate data annotation from Lombok. And after this, we need to mention the properties of this TTO. And first of all, we need to return the total pages. So we will write private and the data type of this will be integer. And we will name this as total pages. And after this, we need to return the active page number. So we will write private and the data type of this will be integer as well. And we will name this as page number. And after this, we need to send the list of reservation DTO. So we will write private and we will mention list and we will import it from java.util. And after this, we will mention reservation DTO and we will import it from hotel server.dto and we will name this as reservation DTO list. And with this, our reservation response DTO is completed. Now let's open our reservation entity. And in this class, we need to write a method to convert this reservation entity to the reservation DTO. So we will start writing a new method and this method will return reservation DTO. And again, we will import it from hotel server dot DTO and we will name this method as get reservation DTO. And in the body of this method, we need to create a reservation DTO and we will name this as reservation DTO and we will initialize this with new reservation DTO. And after this, we need to set the data in this reservation DTO. And first of all, we will use reservation DTO and we will call a method set ID. And in this method, we will pass the ID. And after this, we need to set the price. So we will write reservation DTO and we will call set price method. And in this we will pass the price and after the price we need to set the check-in date. So we will write reservation DTO and we will call a method set check-in date and in this we will pass check-in date. And after this we need to set the checkout date. So we will write reservation DTO dot set checkout date and in this we will pass checkout date. And after this we need to set the reservation status. So we will write reservation DTO dot set reservation status and in this we will pass reservation status. And after this we need to set the user ID. So we will write reservation DTO dot set user ID method. And in this we need to pass the user ID. So we will use user and we will call a method get ID. And after this, we need to set the username. So we will call set username method. And in this, we will pass user dot get name. And after the username, we need to set the room ID. So we will write reservation DTO and we will call a method set room ID. And after this, we need to set the room ID. So we will write reservation DTO and we will call a method set room ID. And in this, we will use room and we will call a method get ID. And after the room ID, we need to set the room name. So we will call set room name method. And in this we will pass room dot get name. And at the end, we need to set the room type. So we will call set room type method. And in this we will pass room dot get type. And at the end, we will write return statement and we will return this reservation DTO from here. And with this, our get reservation DTO method is completed in reservation entity. And after this, we need to create a reservation service for the admin. And to do this, we will go to the services package. And after this, we will right click on this admin package and we will choose new package. And after this, we will remove these rooms and we will name this new package as reservation. And after this, we will right click on this reservation package and we will choose new Java class and we will name this class as reservation service. And from the options, we will select interface. And after this, we will right click again on this reservation package and we will choose new Java class and we will name this class as reservation service implementation. 
and after this we will annotate this class with at the rate service annotation and after this service annotation we will annotate this class with at the rate required aux constructor from lombok and after this we will write implements and we will mention reservation service and after this in this reservation service we need to inject reservation repository so we will write private final and after this we will mention reservation repository and we will import it from hotel server dot repository and we will name this as reservation repository and after this we need to create a variable to hold the page size so we will write public and after this we will write static final and the data type of this will be end and we will name this as search underscore result underscore per page and after this we will set the value as four and after this we will start writing a new method and this method will return a reservation response dto and we will import it from hotel server dot dto package and after this we will name this method as get all reservations and in the params of this method we need to accept the page number and the data type of this will be int and we will name this as page number and in the body of this method first of all we need to create pageable so we will write pageable and we will import it from spring framework dot data dot domain and after this we will name this as pageable and after this we will use page request and we will import it from data dot domain and in the params of this method we need to pass the page number and the page size so we will write page number and after this we will pass search result per page and after this we will create an object of page and this page should be of reservation and we will import it from hotel server dot entity and after this we will name this as reservation page and after this we will use reservation repository and we will call a method find all and in the params of this method we will pass pageable and after this we need to construct our reservation response dto so first of all let's create an object of reservation response dto and we will name this as reservation response dto and we will initialize this with new reservation response dto and after this we will use this reservation response dto and we will call a method set reservation dto list and in this we need to pass the list of reservation dto which we can get from our reservation page so we will write reservation page and after this we will apply stream on it and then we will call map method and in this map method we will call a method get reservation dto which we just created to convert the reservation to the reservation dto and at the end we will convert it to the list and after this we need to set the page number so we will write reservation response dto and we will call a method set page number and after this to get the page number we will use reservation page and we will call a method get pageable and after this we will call a method get page number and after this we need to set the total pages so we will use reservation response dto and we will call a method set total pages and in this we will use reservation page and we will call a method get total pages and at the end we will write return statement and we will return this reservation response dto from here and with this our get all reservations method is completed in reservation service implementation now let's copy this and after this we will open reservation service and we will paste it here and after this let's run our application and as you can see our application is up on port 8080 without any errors and that's it for today's video in the next video we will complete this get all reservations api call and after this we will test this api in the postman as well